we're gonna go back down to the boat at some point and get cedar quartz. Okay. Yeah, dear. My knee. Yeah. He's spending directly. Regret asking him to allow you to. I haven't done anything weird yet. All right, bye now. <laughs> okay, bye. The supply list that is on the website is pretty good. It doesn't include the batten materials, which there's a note at the end that kind of explains that. But then we also found it didn't include the bed slats. I'm not used to actually going off of plans. I'm more of a, of a wing it sort of improv carpenter. Usually I have an idea and I just figure it out as I go. So this was the first time I've actually had a specific cut list. We cut all the legs, all the cross beams, the stretchers, all that sort of stuff. We cut ahead of time. Ryan is a chef. He doesn't have many tools and he doesn't really use a lot of tools. He was kind of excited about helping out on this project because it's just something he doesn't normally do and would like to do more of. We used glue and pocket holes to put together the majority of the bed. For the first side, we kind of piecemealed it. We put the bottom stretcher on to the two sides first, and then the panel, and then the middle stretcher. We should have read the instructions because that's not really how you're supposed to do it, but it worked out just fine. For the upper stretcher, we used one of the rafters to mark where that was going to go so we could put pocket holes on the top. And I can't remember what they call that short center piece. I'm just going to call it a ridge support. We marked for the ridge support and then we put the rafters on, then screwed the ridge support into place, and then screwed the two rafters to the ridge support. We did this panel a little differently because it was so much longer. This is the back panel. We, we read the instructions and you're supposed to put the, the panels together and then put the legs on. Screwed all that together and then we shifted over and put the top stretcher piece. Always try and carry a couple clamps with me. It's always handy. You use them in more places than you'd ever think. For the front panel, we did it a little differently. We attached the top stretcher first, and then we attached the windows to the vertical 2x4 uprights, and then we attached those to the side panel that had the stretcher on top of it, and then we put the bottom stretcher on if that makes sense. The next day, we made a little jig for all the roof pieces. Elijah did a wonderful job of transporting the roof pieces from the truck to the garage. Ryan cut all the batten pieces. We both kind of sanded them. I put them all on. At this point, the bed really starts to look good. Putting all the trim pieces for the window and then the battens on just brings it all together. Again, the plans don't have the batten material. I think we went through two, two or three extra one by twos for all the battens. We've seen photos where people made it without the battens. And it just looks very plain. These battens really do make the whole thing just pop. It looked great. Putting on the battens, it was like, oh man, this is something cool now. And then the only thing left to do was to put it together. We used three inch screws to tie all four sides together. 
That way, if they needed to move it to another room or to another house, they could take it apart fairly easy. We put the rail for the bed slots in. We spaced the bed slots out evenly and piloted holes and came back with screws just to tie everything together. Then we put in the center ridge and started on the roof structure. For the roof, we held the two 2x2 two two supports in place while screwing two of the pieces of roof panel, one on either side, to them. That way, we knew everything would line up perfectly. We took it off the bed, put it on the floor, and we took the rest of the pieces using a spacer and laid them all out. And then the bed was finished. The kids absolutely loved it. I'm sure I'll have to come back in a couple years and make one for Emma. But that's it. That is the Jenwood House cabin bed. If you like the video, please hit subscribe, share it, like it, all that good junk. It really helps me out. See you next time.